If you hear that coughing, it is my mom. She's currently dying. We're gonna get started into the huge order I did on ColourPop over a span of literally two weeks. I guess I'll start off with all the lipsticks I bought. So I've tested out a lot of lipsticks. They're just so good. This is the shade Zuma. This is literally the color that is your lips but better. Lip Focus. It's such a good shade. This is the Ultra Blotted, which I actually really like. They are a little sheer, but they look so natural. They last so long. And this color fades out once it dries. Really recommend it. My shifts are normally six to eight hours. I have like a lunch break and I eat and this is still on my lips and it hasn't even like taken its color off. All right, next shade is ooh, this one's the pretty packaging this is in starling I've been trying to find a dupe for exposed by Kylie so I first saw this one this is also an ultra blotted really really pretty but this one is actually more drying than Zuma like Zuma dries down to a matte but it doesn't dry out my lips like the matte colors do but this one for some reason is matter and it actually like swatches more patchy but it doesn't look patchy so I'm um, not wearing this one right now even though it looks like I am still like a really really pretty color also i just had coffee so i'm jittery love this color it is a pretty good dupe for exposed but i found an even better dupe for it so let's just wait next color is fuego which is actually meant for deeper skin tones literally the darkest nude i've picked <laughs> this one is so pretty online it's swatched really light and sandy and i was expecting it to be a lot lighter i was expecting it to look like this one but it literally looks like that and i looked at the reviews everyone that has like a deeper complexion was wearing it and it looked so good on them and then people with my skin tone and stuff it looked like a dark brown but i actually really really love this color whenever i put this like all over my lips and then like a shade like this in the middle and do like an ombre kind of supermodel 90s look it's really pretty so i do like it i really recommend this color i think it also look really good on everyone's skin tone and just all that fun stuff we have sunny side which is my favorite one is the one i'm wearing right now i have a l'oreal plumping glossy lipstick on it's like the lipstick that's in like the clear packaging this is such a good dupe for exposed it's a little bit lighter than exposed i think it's so pretty it's just like a sandy nude i do have some pinkier nudes though for those of you that like that we got Growing Pains, which is literally the pinkier nude I was talking about. Nope. Here she- oh, nope. Here she is. Literally all these colors look the same, but they aren't. They're all kind of different. So this one is more pinky. You can definitely see it. It's like a peachier nude. Growing Pains is just like your average color that I feel like everyone would like because it is like a more pinkier color and some people don't like these like brownier pinks kind of. So that's why I'm saying I think Zuma and Growing Pains would probably be like the most popular colors. This one is a matte. Um, I forgot to say Fuego is matte obviously and like you can just see like the ultra blotted are like matte but they don't look drying is what I'm trying to say. This one is Aquarius. It has like the cuter packaging with little stars on it. So I am an Aquarius so I did get the Aquarius one. I normally hate satins because over time they get like the white line right here and i don't know i'm kind of scared of satin lips i feel like they're really like tacky they're kind of like lip gloss in a way i feel like they just like stick to everything so i was very impressed with this one i wore it on christmas eve i'll insert like a picture of me wearing it um i ate pizza with it i ate so many greasy things and it still looked really good and then i put like this like lipstick Thing over it just to kind of bring back the color. See, like Aquarius and um, Growing Pains are really close, but Aquarius is actually even more pinky. So there you go. That's what all the colors look like dried down. And of course, the last one is going to be Magic Wand. This one is also another favorite of mine. This one's like an in-between of Starling and this one that I'm wearing. It's like a brownier pink. Well, I'm telling you, it's literally that. Ugh. My mom is sick and her cough is literally disgusting and she's so obnoxious about it. They're all really close, but they're all like their own color. So love them. They're really good quality. This one is also an ultra satin lip, which I think I actually prefer this one more than like the satin ones, but they all look good. They all dry down over time. Now on to eyeshadows. Actually, before I get into that, I have one highlighter. I decided to buy Lunch Money, I think it is. Isn't this like one of like max names 
for an eyeshadow, like lunch money or was it wrong? So online, this looked very gold and like, I, it does look pale, but it looked really gold. It's super ashy actually, like for me at least. I don't really like the way it looks on my skin tone, like something about it. Only highlighters. I swore I didn't get anything from Florida, like accent wise since I've lived here for 10 years, but no. I say highlighter, I say ladder, and I say Florida. What the hell? With like a warm peachy golden tone to it, look it on me. And this one, like it's literally right here, you can't really see it. Um, it's super ashy and like pale and I feel like this will look better on my best friend because her skin tone's more pinky and mine is more warm toned. Okay. Anyway, so I don't really like the Super Shock highlighters. Like, mom, you're talking really loud. I've used this twice and it really just does not look good on my skin. Huh, <sighs> I don't know, a little sad about that. Now onto all the eyeshadows I bought. So first one is my favorite. This is in the shade Slave to Pink. Look at that. Oh my god, they're so pretty. This one has blue reflex in it. Like you can just see how blue it is. I've been using this one that I got from the butterfly set. Um, that's an eyeshadow like this. I already hit pan on it and I've used it like a week in a row. So I feel like there's barely any product in here, which is why they're so cheap. I'm not going to be using a hot pink every day. I don't think I'll finish it that fast, but I got them for $4.50 because I got them while it was like 20% off of the website. Look at that. I don't know, you guys cannot, like literally this lighting is just not good, but they're so pretty. I am gonna be doing like shoots with these eyeshadows on, so if you wanna go follow me on Instagram. This is the shade, I actually just shot with this one, so I will insert the picture here, Fizz. I love it. I was a little scared this color wouldn't look good on me, but holy shit. This is the most flattering green. It has gold in it. You wanna, you know, go out of your comfort zone. Get these, cause they're literally $4 when you get them on sale and they work really well and stay on and they don't like patch, like they're so good. So yeah, these are all like the super shock shadow. This one was a butterfly one. That's not an Ulta exclusive. This is in the shade Ringlet, I think. Yeah, the packaging is so freaking cute and it says Super Shock on the side in gold. This one too, so pretty. I feel like annoying swatching them because I'm like wasting them a little bit because they do run out so fast. Literally look at that again. Like it's really close to this pink, but oh, it's so pretty, I can't wait to wear it. This is the purple, this is Dare. So pretty, I was a little bit, I was probably not gonna get this color because I really wanted Rem, but as soon as I like went to finally buy this stuff after they were sitting in my cart for two days, Rem got out of stock and it's like this pretty blue color and I really, really wanted it. And then the next day after I did my order, it was back in stock, so I'm like a little annoyed, but I got this one since I couldn't get the other one. And it's just this really dark purple, it's so pretty. And I just, I looked at the reviews, that's one thing I like about color pop is like they actually have pictures of what it looks like and this girl with brown eyes took a picture in it and honestly it looked really pretty i do like it this one doesn't have as many fun reflex in it there you go it's a really pretty purple i'm definitely gonna wear it to work there's that and now we're on to the last one that i bought in this order and this one is banana Dyke blah blah. I don't know. Something banana in it. This one was the other blue I liked, but it's not REM. This one's a very pretty like peacock color. Like it just reminds me of a peacock, <laughs> literally. Look at it. It's so cute in 80s. Really like this color too. I've been really wanting like a bright glittery blue to do like an 80s eye and like, I don't know, just puff up my hair and shit. Look at how good that is. And now the last three things I got. So they were an Ulta exclusive. They just exclusively sold at Ulta, not even on a ColourPop's website. And there are these three trios of these super shock shadows and I was really in between the purple one and the gold one So whenever I went to the store There was a lot left of like the purple and the gold But I was like these are gonna be sold out because it's Christmas two days later I go to get one 
one gold left. I didn't check it. I was like, you know what? I'll just buy it. Like, I really like it. Literally, the main gold color is gone, and someone put this purple one in there, which I actually wanted from the purple set. So here's the one that was put in from the purple set. It's this white purple reflex. It's in the shade Chrysalis, which I actually really like this color. And whenever I was looking at the purple set, this was the main shade I wanted. And this is my most worn one. I wore this all of December. This is in the shade Pledge Class. I'm not gonna swatch it just because I don't wanna waste it. Like you can see how much I've used it. Literally beautiful. This color is amazing. Like look at it. And the light hits it, it just looks like it's wet. And then this shade is this pretty copper in the color Hello Goodbye. Haven't used this one yet. Like I put it on my eyes, but it looks really harsh. I don't know, you can't really see it. So I think with this one, I'm actually gonna have to put like more eyeshadow in my crease to make it work. I'll swatch this one because I don't really like this one that much. I feel like this with like one of these like darker nudes would look so cool. But so there you go, there's that one. Anyway, that is my huge color paw haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe for more videos every week. Oh, I'm out of breath already and I'll see you guys later.